Tomorrow I am three years sober from drugs and alcohol. So the 4th of July was the last day that I ever had a drink and I shouldn't really call it a drink. It was a full on bender. I'm 27 years old and I have spent so many days of my life blacked out and not remembering, but have been fully present for the last three. Something nobody talks about when they get sober is just how isolating it is. I had to cut out everyone in my life that wasn't supportive of me getting sober. Losing every single one of the friends that you have can be kind of traumatizing. And I wouldn't really say that I've made many friends since I got sober, but I've gotten a lot more comfortable with my own company, which I feel like is even more important. When you're always drunk or high, you never allow yourself to sit with your own thoughts. The scariest part of getting sober is you don't have any substances numbing that anymore. And sometimes the inside of your brain can be very loud. When I first got sober, I was having panic attacks all the time. I had no idea how to interact in social situations. And even going to the grocery store was a huge challenge. It honestly took months of DIY exposure therapy to get over it. I spent my whole life thinking that I was a party girl, that I was an extrovert, when deep down I had social anxiety and needed alcohol to be in crowds. It's funny how my personality has completely changed since getting sober. And honestly, I'm really grateful. It's been a really fun journey getting to know the version of me that I want to know, or then a version of me that watered down with drugs and alcohol. I was always a person who could never be alone, never be alone on a Friday night, never just have a chill self-care night at home by myself. I always had to be around a bunch of people and distracting myself from what was going on in my head. And that's a lot of blush. When I first got sober, I was so lonely all the time until I started looking at myself as my own best friend. I was like, okay, who is Emily? What does Emily like? What fuels Emily's soul? What are her values? What makes her happy? And by asking myself those questions, I really started to learn more about myself. I started giving myself grace, not punishing myself for the mistakes I've made and celebrating all of my wins. By nurturing myself over the last three years, I've really gained a better sense of self and feel like I'm closer to becoming the person that I was meant to be. It's been a long three years and every day I'm working on it, but it's a lot better than it used to be.